All right, Tuesday night, we're getting ready for week three. Waivers are gonna clear here coming up probably in a few hours. I had a question on the channel I wanted to answer real quick. Maybe this will get to you in time. I sure hope it does, man. Uh, the question was this, Justin Herbert, is he a good pickup for QB2? And does he have good chemistry with Keenan Allen? So I'll address the latter question apart, uh, that part of it real quick. Yes, he does have good chemistry with Keenan Allen. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, it's mutable going into to fixed. Uh, so, uh, and it's water going into earth, right? Pisces going into Taurus. We know water and earth, they are happy companions. So that's a pretty good match. And he also has a pretty good match with Mike Williams. Mike Williams is a Libra. And so he's an air sign. And he's also a cardinal sign. So cardinal signs are always uh, good to get the attention of that mutable. And... Um, so yeah, that's how it breaks down. Hunter Henry doesn't have as good as chemistry as a Sagittarius. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Uh, and then, uh, but here's the really interesting factor, okay, about the whole situation is that Anthony Lynn is a Sagittarius, right? And Anthony Lynn has already said, if Tyrod is healthy, he's gonna play. And everyone's going, oh, come on, man. Did you just see what Justin did? He played really good. And so everyone's kind of thinking that's crazy. But if we look at the astrology, we see that Tyrod Taylor's a Leo, right? So Anthony Lynn's going to favor Tyrod Taylor. And so uh, will he actually start Tyrod uh, after seeing that great performance out of Herbert? I mean, I hope not, you know, but uh, who knows? Maybe he's, he's trying to play it safe, whatever he thinks uh, Tyrod's got. You know, he's probably watching these guys in practice, I'm sure of it. And, and uh and seeing what's going on there okay so that is the first part uh that's the justin herbert download real quick for the astrology and so i would say yeah heck get them if you got a two q qb league absolutely but if you got just a one qb league i wouldn't i wouldn't spend a waiver pick on them no way i mean there's just so many picks i know gardner Minshew is still available in a ton of leagues and he's got he's got like check out Gardner Minshew this week um, and not to mention I think for like the next four weeks or so his matchups are just cake man which you know I'm, I'm saying he's got really easy really good matchups coming up uh, so uh, that is the download for Justin Herbert somebody else asked me real quick uh, about my how I determine uh, the astrology dates for people. Do I, and he asked specifically, if people are coming up to their birthday, do you give them an added bonus, right? So that tells me he knows a little something about astrology is, and, and that's kind of the, what they say for astrology is that when it's coming up to your birthday, you're in more balance, right? I say you're stronger during that time. And I've found it to be kind of personally true for my life, but I haven't found it to be anything useful for football. So uh, there's a lot of complexities about the dates. Um, I've never been that type of astrologer. I've always been into understanding the personal chemistry between people. I find that astrology to be super evident. And I know I've, ex I've experienced it personally in my life uh, in powerful ways. So I stick to that. I would love to hear uh, anything that you could think of. Um, one pattern I do look out for is um, historical uh, repetition, right? You look at what they did last year in week one. Look what they did last year on week two. It's kind of funny that uh, things go in yearly cycles and we tend to, uh, as human beings, we come back and the same thing kind of recreates itself like Groundhog's Day, if you will, but on yearly cycles. So that's not as much astrology based. That's just kind of something I've noticed over the years. And, uh, and people are doing this already, right? We want to know um, how a player performs against certain teams. Uh, it's just uh, seems to be, uh, you know, uh, guys will perform the same way against the same team as they did the year before. Uh, so that's 
something we're all keeping an eye on all the time. A good reminder there. Um, appreciate that question. Uh, another shout out to one of my commenters asking about Clyde Edwards Alaire. And I would say, uh, just, just be patient, man. Everything looks good. I'll do a deeper dive perhaps on Clyde Edwards Alaire a little bit later. Um, but he's a rookie, you know, and, and, um, he said he was a little bit worried about him, but I mean, it's, it's a tough call, but at the same time, I feel like it's strongly leaning towards just hang out and wait, uh, for this guy. He's, he's going to keep breaking out. You know, every guys have, all these guys are going to have slump weeks. That's just kind of how it goes. So be patient with Clyde and, uh, Appreciate you guys. That's all I have for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.